Well, hi everyone. My name is Rebecca. Thanks for stumbling onto the channel. Hello, hello, hello. So it is a weekend. I live in the state of Oregon. Uh, I'm saying that because I have a couple of ladies that follow me on this channel that are from across the pond. So I'm in America and live in the state of Oregon. And I wanted to show you my cabinets and how I put my luxury handbags away. This um, video might have been already posted about two years ago. That's when I purchased these um, black cabinets with uh, glass. And I love these. Uh, they were in a secondhand store and even have lights so I can plug it in behind the wall but uh, you won't be able to see anything if I plug in those lights so we're gonna just go through the cabinet really quick and then what's inside of it. These cabinets are very tall. They are seven foot tall. They go all the way down. The bottom do not have any glass and I have back there my no-name handbags that I use for like uh, travel and planners or a little clutch. So those are down inside those parts. But today we are just going to be talking about the top section. And voila, they open like so. You know what? Let's turn you. I'm going to do this very slowly so that you don't get seasick. See if that works. Okay, here we go. That'll work. So on the very top of the cabinet, which you can't see, la 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 la, is three Chanel boxes and a makeshift. Well. I don't even know what you want to call that, but I made that little sign that says Mark and Rebecca out of little wooden Scrabble pieces a long time ago. And I'm going to open up the glass doors so that'll help with some of the glare from the ring light. It's kind of a overcast day, but I wanted some of the natural light to come in here. Okay, so these have different removable shelves. Okay, so they have those little metal tabs that you see like on bookshelves. And the cutout parts on the back is because this used to be obviously in some kind of a display store that had items in here. And I'm sure that's where they had the cords and stuff in the back. There's only a couple of them that pull out that are actually on rollers on this side and on this well this would be my left hand side there are no drawers that pull out like those but they have secret drawers and I'm gonna pull you down not secret drawers but once the glass doors are opened they have two pull outs with handles that I keep all of my little wallets. Any kind of small zippers, small clutches, that kind of thing. They're all located in here. And this side has my clutch, another clutch, and my antique clutch, which is my absolutely favorite. This is acrylic. And there is a video two years ago that I did on all my ancient handbags. And it uh, goes into detail on that one. But I love these cabinets. I walked into the second hand store just 
on a whim, needed to waste an hour and a half, went to the back, saw this on their back wall, and I could tell it was black, but it was absolutely disgusting. It was so dusty, and each drawer had tiny little racks, like they would had, I don't know, uh, sunglasses sitting in it, or maybe old cassette tapes were sitting up right inside there. But I looked at those and I thought, oh my gosh, I could totally clean this up. It's got the height. I can rearrange the size of each cabinet and move the drawers and it'd be perfect for my handbags. So I ran up to the front of the counter and I told the lady up there, I need to go home and get the pickup truck, but please put a sold sign on <laughs> these two cabinets on the back because I'm taking them home with me. And I got them for a steal. I mean, like I said, they have lights inside of them. They're glass, removable drawers, rolling drawers, and they were $69 each in America, uh, U.S., for the ladies that are across the pond. So it was an incredible find. It did take me quite a while to get them all cleaned, but I am so happy with these cabinets. So this video is my handbags that I keep inside of this cabinet. Now a long time ago, before I started collecting uh, designer handbags, I wanted a Chanel handbag and could not afford a Chanel handbag. So I found a website on the internet called Bag Inc. B-A-G-I-N-C, Bag Inc, and found this leather handbag. Nowhere on here does it say Chanel, so it's not trying to be a replica. It is not a counterfeit. It is just a similar type bag of a Chanel. And I fell in love with this size. So this was a really good starter bag for me. Again, it does not say anything about Chanel. There's no imprints. You can even see that this has been used in quite a bit. There's even wrinkles inside uh, the, the flap. This was from when it was shipped to me, the way that they had the chains in there and I'm sure that all of these were sitting in a warehouse after they're made so it could have been months or years that this thing had an imprint inside the leather it smells wonderful and it's very reasonable so check out bag ink I can't remember what the name of this bag is for you just to go right to it but um, check it on my camp uh, click on my name down below pulls up my whole channel and I'm sure there's a little search bar somewhere in there and just search in there for bag ink and you'll find this video and I'm sure there's even a link to, to take you right to it okay but this was my first one to see if I liked these uh, is the size good etc 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 and I'm so happy I did So let's go through, shall we go through fashion houses or should we go through which one did I get first? Which one did I get first? That will be more fun. It's this one from Fashion File. This is a Speedy 30. The Speedy 25's zip only open so far. They don't go all the way and it's hard to get wallets and stuff out of there. And I love the size 30. To me, this is perfect for my body frame, and I love it. I spent quite a bit of time on Fashion File to find this one, and someone had tried to do a treatment, and so all four of these tabs are a different color on the leather, and I like it. I think it looks fantastic that way. It, it appealed to me. It did have a lock with no key, and luckily it has not torn or sagged this leather piece at all. 
I just have bubble wrap inside of it. And I used this handbag, gosh, months straight as soon as I got it. And I've had this since 2015 or 2014. And it's a 1991. So it's vintage. Vintage meaning that it's over 25 years old. And it's in great condition. So that's a speedy 30. From there, let's just go from side to side. That, let's just do that. I'm going to raise you up again. And again, I'm sorry if you're getting seasick with me moving this thing around like I am. I apologize. So on a Facebook group, Buy and Sell Louis Vuitton, there was a lady selling this Speedy 35. 35s are pretty big. This is almost like luggage. As a matter of fact, this 35 I use on planes. Gosh, it really does look big on the camera. But uh, 35 is about the same width as uh, my body. And this one is missing the leather on the pull tab. Didn't bother me. She sold it to me for a really good price. There's no lock. There's no key. But the zipper works just fine. And there's no stains or anything on the inside of it. This is great when I go on a plane. It would be good, I guess, for a gym bag and stuff, too, if you had a locker and you were taking it with all your goodies in it because it holds a lot. I have a video on how much stuff you can put in a Speedy 35. So you can search that also on my channel. This one has some stains on this one tab and it has a stain back here on this tab. But this bag, this 35, it's a Speedy 35. It is 1981. That's old. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with the canvas. There's nothing wrong with the piping all the way around. There's no stains inside of it. I know you can't see all that, but I'm telling you, 1981. This is old. So, 91, 1981. Hey, if you guys ever get any of these little things that comes in like your shoes or inside of a handbag that you're getting from like TJ Maxx or anything, you save these. You put them in with your, your jewelry and it absorbs all the moisture and keeps it away from that. And I keep them Oh, there's tons of them thrown inside every one of the shelves in here to keep the moisture away from my leather bags and my canvas bags. Works like a charm. Little tip from me to you. Okay, up here at the top. Oh, this is heavy because it has a blanket inside of it. This is a keep all. This is what goes underneath the seat in front of me or the overhead compartment. If you're traveling, this works just fine on a plane too. I would not check this baggage. I would not want this to be, you know, underneath the plane. But if uh, my husband and I are just going for a weekend trip, we'll just throw our clothes in here too if it's just for a weekend because it holds a ton. This did come with a lock, the key. It has a, what's this called, luggage tag. And it also came with the handle holder. These are kind of hard to find. So I got this from a great lady off of eBay. She was very nice. And I, I'm very pleased with this. So that's a speedy, no, excuse me, Keep All 45. So those are my three bags for Louis Vuitton. Then I have, this isn't a pochette, is it a pochette? It's not a mini pochette, it's the next one. It has a name, shucks, I can't think of it. 
If you guys know the name of this, just type it down below inside this video so that other people watching this video will know that uh, Rebecca didn't know the name of her own handbag. But this thing I use on every time I'm on a trip. Absolutely every time that I leave and I'm on a trip, this is the, the one that I take with me. It's small enough that I can conceal it. Uh, it's easy enough that when I'm shopping, I still got my hands free. It doesn't hold a lot of stuff. Um, it's perfect. It's perfect. Love it, love it, love it. Then I have two clays. Clay in French means key. So if you're saying key clay, you're technically saying the word key key. Doesn't make any sense. A French lady had told me that on one of my videos to ask me to please stop saying key clay. Uh, it must drive her insane that people aren't pronouncing that correctly. And I never took French in high school, so I did not know. Uh, this one I have broken off this from inside and I can't remember what year this one is. I have all this stuff written down somewhere but it's old and this is kind of tarnished. But the other one that I have, same size, same monogram, uh, it's in every one of my handbags so it's in the other room. This is just a purse bling, very thin insert that you can snap and make into different sizes. It's got looks like 12 or 13 different side pockets and I do use this inside the speedies. And then I have this pink small cosmetic O case. I got this from Fashion File on a super, super deal. I would not have purchased this prior, previously, ever, uh, when they're five and six hundred dollars. To me, for a small leather good, even though this is like butter because it's lambskin, I still wouldn't pay that much money. But I got this one for two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Did not have the card. Did not come with a box. No ribbon, no extra stuff. It just has the sticker still attached down inside. And I have lipstick, a very small, small, thin mirror, a bag holder for your table, you know, to hold your handbags. And looks like I have some earbuds in there. So the handbag that I'm currently using in the other room is very small, and so I did not need to take this with me. So that's why this is sitting out, but normally this is in all my handbags. Okay, down here is the box that I got uh, from either this one or the other uh, clay. This, both of my clays came from people on the Facebook group or somewhere because I, these are not purchased full price at the store, but one of them, and I don't remember which one, came with the box and the little cute little dust bag that's inside here. And it actually even had a gift tag on it. And I think it says, it's very light, like it's in pencil or something. It's too bright in here, but that's okay. So that was for this. Okay, some more of those little what are these called they're little gel it says uh throw away do not eat but they're little silicone gel tabs you know what these are right oh there you go you want to keep these by your jewelry and your leather goods they're fantastic okay the handbag that i'm using in the other room this is the puff and then I'm not going to go through this drawer, but there's just down here, there's all kinds of different things for different handbags, uh, travel, things that I found at secondhand stores. I just love this little green pouch. So cute. OK, 
Okay, moving over. Get you a little closer. My apologies for moving this again. Starting from the top, Avon.com last year had clear bags, and this was the big fad for uh, last spring and last summer. And this one is Sarchoose Green. And this would be a great uh, makeup bag to travel with. And here in America, if you go to any of the ball games or stadium games type places, you have to have clear bags now. Uh, that started uh, two summers ago. They don't want any backpacks. They would always check your bags anyway, but came to become a, a new law here in Oregon. Might be in other states as well. So this bag would be great for that purpose. Okay, up here, let's start at the top. And I'm gonna pull this one out of the back first because I've had this one the longest. This bag is just so pretty. You may have seen these way back in the 90s. These square bags, box, peel box bags with all of this gold. These were very popular in like 94, 95 era. And I saw a lady with one and wanted her box purse so bad. And two years went by. There's this, the strap. And I was in a store that had like um, long gowns and high heels and things that you would wear to like a black tie affair. It was that kind of a, a boutique shop. And I don't even remember why I was in there or who I was with. I mean, that's how long I've had this. Walked in there and, and this is dusty. Up on the shelf, they had a bunch of purses and I've been a purse fiend. Oh, I love purses. That's why I have so many shoved down underneath there too. And so I was immediately looking at the purses that were up there on the top. And up there was this, this purse. I could see this, this square. And I thought, that's cool. And so I walked over and there was two racks of different clothing, went around them to get over to that side and locked up there. And then asked that person that worked there if they could take this down. And as soon as it started coming down, I could realize what this purse was. And I thought, I'm sold. I want that. So this purse was uh, $45 or $55. And I just said, I have to have it. This is almost identical to what that other lady had that I saw two years prior and that fell in love with it. And so I've kept it ever since. So I've had it a very, very long time. But I love that story. Then... My favorite handbag of all time is this Chanel Trendy CC size small lambskin with silver. And this is by far my favorite. It, hands down, this is my favorite. It took me forever to save up money to get this purse. Um, all of, I'm going to show you all of these two, let's see, there's three Louis Vuittons and there's three, uh, Chanel's. Everything is pre-loved, 100%. It was like to find it, the gear that I wanted it in, and to hunt this down. This came all the way from Australia, from a reseller there, 
and you can find her on Instagram too. Her name is Timeless Audrey, and they can hunt down any bag that you need. They are really good. This is stuffed with cloth, and I use this handbag every month. It doesn't, it never just sits. That's why it's never in a dust bag because I, I use this so often. Love this bag, love this bag, love, love, love this bag. Okay, moving down is the very first Chanel I ever purchased and it was from Australia. This is when I had a very large birthday number pop up and I bought this for myself. It is a jumbo. It's a single flap. Those are hard to find. They stopped making single flaps in 2010 and this purse is 2010. So it's 10 years old since we're into 2020. It is a true red. So it has a lot of blue in the background, no orange. Love the color. Absolutely love it. I wanted a jumbo. I'm a big purse girl. Always loved larger purses. I know the last five years, small minis and micro purses have been the thing. But seriously, this is about a travel. This is about the small as I'll go and I, I'd be traveling. And that's the reason I'm not carrying all my crap. So I bought this one for myself. And it comes with the box and the ribbon and the camellia flower and all that. All my three Chanel's have the boxes up on top. Now, single flap will have these garments side by side. And when it's a double flap, there's one in front and one behind. So they're this way. And I know when you're seeing a bag from the side, you'll be able to tell because you'll see two straps or two flaps. But sometimes the way that it's being held, you can't tell. You can always tell by this if it's a single or a double flap. So this single flap will not have the lipstick pocket and the two little slip pockets. They are different. There is no slip pocket or lipstick pocket. This one has a slip all the way from left to right. And then half an inch above it is the zipper that goes all the way from left to right. That's it. That's all this has. And I keep um, paper. Uh, to keep the chain in place, but then I have a, this is a, what is this, pillowcase, cotton, that helps with any moisture, even though I do have those little things for moisture all over these shelves. Um, cotton is wonderful to put in your bags, so that's a tip from me to you. I also don't like the chain laying on the bag. So there's a cloth there. And my final Chanel came from Fashion File. Now, this one and this one came from the same lady. This one came from Fashion File here in America. It's from 1991. It's vintage, just like this Speedy is 1991. I happened to be on Fashion File one day and boom, this thing had clicked and there was an extra 10% off already the markdown price and I had to have it. Um, it's gold hardware, it's lambskin, they're not puffy anymore because this thing is vintage. It's a double flap medium, medium large. take out the cloth 
and inside you will see that it has the two slip pockets and the lipstick pocket. It has a slip pocket here and there's a slim pocket back here that you need to be really careful with so that you're not tearing any of those stitches. And then this up here for this size, not for the minis, but for this medium large, holds business cards perfectly. So I have my business cards shoved up inside that. Perfect size right here. My lights are too bright. Can't get up there, but that's okay. So, medium large, vintage, Chanel, trendy CC, size small. The red one is a single flap jumbo. And that's my expensive type luxury items. Here is a bag made out of shells and buttons. And it's very unique. I don't wear this, but I absolutely think it's totally cool. The inside is all cloth with one snap. And I've never worn it, but I love it. I mean, how unique is this? Look at all those buttons and shells and the colors. I just, I just think it's cool. Uh, these are my sunglasses. And down here, there's a Michael Kors. This bag is so heavy for being such a small mini. There is tons of metal metal chain, metal hook. This is almost like a wallet on chain because it's got little card slots and then one pocket here in the front as well. Whoops. I got this from Fashion File off of their Outlet, outlet, there you go, Michael Kors, and this is lambskin, so I have the paperwork inside of it, uh, I've only used it twice, it's not my favorite, it's a small bag, but it was a really good buy, and I love the color, uh, being on the outlet for fashion file if it's on there for 30 days they do another discount and another 30 days it was a different discount and so I, I think I got this bag for $75 actually it's probably even inside here and this thing is kind of like a clip on the new Louis Vuitton Matisse pochette it has the same kind of clasp Paperwork is inside here. $75 for this. Michael Kors. And I'm sure it wasn't $75 when it was at the store. My little ringlets I put in my hair today. I haven't brushed them out or anything. I just kept all the little ringlets. Okay. And we went through that drawer. So that's it. Oh, this is long enough. Okay, you guys have a fabulous weekend. Thanks for watching uh, my luxury handbags and how I put them in their cabinets. And you guys have a fabulous, fabulous day. Make sure you check out the other videos I mentioned by clicking on uh, my name, pull up my account, and just uh, use the little search. Bye-bye.